about the blues harmonica in terms of keys. What is the best key for harmonica? How many harmonicas should I have? Can I cover it with only a few harmonicas playing with any band in any way? These are very common questions that crop up time and time again and you see people um, like myself who coach this thing answering them in very different ways and of course Everybody's opinion is valid. I'm not trying to tread on anybody else's toes. I just point out that this is my opinion on my channel and everybody else does things differently. But I coach certain ways and, uh, and they coach their ways. All right. So, and if you're new to the channel, thumbs up and subscribe. There will be things on this video that uh, will be useful to you even at early stages. And uh, you will come back and uh, visit this video again and again, I'm sure. And for people further on down the line, stick with it because I think there'll be things in it that you might find useful or perhaps the odd thing that you haven't thought about. All right. OK. So it makes sense to have a harmonica in the key of C when you're starting out or when you've been playing a while, simply because from a, a coaching aspect, it's, um, it's one of the best uh, ways to, to push forward. I don't really want to go into why. Uh, other than the fact that um, it's a medium high harp and it's the way to farm out from that uh, C harmonica makes sense. Now, blues guitarists and rock guitarists, they predominantly play in G, D, A, E and B. And if they're playing in open tunings, they're most likely to be playing in G and D. There might be variants on it, but that's predominantly what they'll be doing. OK, then if you're playing with horns, maybe with a horn section, not just with one horn, very rare you'd be doing this with this. Um, you'll find on arrangements sometimes um, there's a lot, a lot of stuff. They'll play in every key, but there's a lot of stuff in E flat and B flat to accommodate the horns, alto and baritone in E flat and the tenor soprano saxes and uh, fugal on trumpet, some of that kind of thing in B flat. So just uh, accommodating those keys to make them user friendly on arrangements. But you probably wouldn't concern yourself with that. And of course, you will get for every thousand, two thousand guitars, you'll get the odd guy that in his own band or her band will tune down a half step their actual instrument, like Stevie Ray, um, Jimi Hendrix and Albert King did. And therefore, you just have to have the harmonica appropriately for that. But that's a rarity. You won't come across it. Probably no, not at all, you know. But guys do do it. OK, but I'm assuming that they're not doing that here. Right, so what keys? Well, before I say that, what's the best key for blues harmonica? Answer? There isn't one. All right, so we've sorted that one out. It's just, you know, I'm sitting at a piano or guitar and I'm playing around here. Just which one you prefer, but, you know, you're just moving along a line into a different octave. So, um, OK, so here we go. It would be fair to assume 
that you've been wanting predominantly to be playing in second and third position. All right, why? Because they are the most uh, user-friendly keys with all the bluesy chords and the bluesy bends and everything. Most comfortable key for us. So I bear that in mind with what I'm going to say now. An E flat harmonica. So you can play B flat, second position, and F in third position. All right? Let's miss out F and I'll come back to that. A C harmonica. So you can play G second position, D third position. We'll miss out G. I'll come back to that. A D harmonica to play A second position, E third position. An A harmonica to play E second position, B third position. And an E harmonica to play B second position, F sharp third position. Stick with our E harp and we can do fourth position on C sharp, which is quite user friendly. Once you've been doing a year or two with me, yeah, that wouldn't be a problem. And fifth position, which again is fairly user friendly, it's not too bad, over A flat. We're starting to struggle a bit now when we get to the E flat because um, starting to fold more challenges. Quite, and then seven, eight, and nine positions, even more. Once we start getting on to having to use speed on things like seven overdrawn, things like that, it's at that point when you probably would think if you're wanting to do that, which uh, is probably a rarity, it's only at that point I would assume you'd want to start messing around with the harmonicas to get it set up or paying a lot of money to have it done, which is not a necessary thing to do and um, coming around that side of the harp, just using other harps in my view. But anyway, okay, so what do we do with E flat? Well, to get around E flat, just play it in first position. Use an E flat harp that I mentioned at the start. Use E flat and then um, that, would, uh, that would be fine because even on a three chord blues, using the basic chords, using second and uh, twelfth position. 12 position is user friendly, it's not too bad at all if you wanted to chord change. All right, and that covers all your six. Okay, um, so a little bit of a challenge there in, in some ways, but uh, it's not necessary to, um, to have, uh, to have all, all 12. All right, so those are the things to, um, to bear in mind. So if you're new to the channel, Thumbs up and subscribe. I do Skype face to face if you're in my area. Uh, get coached and have a lot of fun with it. Um, and that's just an idea of how you can utilize the harps to your advantage without having to go around carrying all 12. Um, nice as it is to have all 12, you'll find some of them you'll never ever use other than for just uh, a bit of fun in another key. All right, well, thumbs up and subscribe and uh, I'll catch you on the rebound.